Hi everybody, thank you for coming. Welcome to my kitchen, this is Kay's Kitchen. I am so excited. Philadelphia cream cheese has some cooking creams and they are totally awesome. I'm gonna be cooking with several of them. They have a wonderful Italian cheese herb. They have a Santa Fe blend. They also have an original and they have a savory garlic. Today, what I'm gonna be cooking with is the Italian cheese herb. And I'm going to be making a terrific family recipe of our stewed chicken and it's Italian style. A quick run through of all the ingredients we're going to need to make this terrific dish. We have chicken parts, I have thighs, and I have chicken breast. You're welcome to use any parts of the chicken that you would like. Up to you what your family, this is a pretty versatile recipe so you can use any parts of the chicken that you like. Uh, cinnamon, seasoning salt, pepper, salt, I have tomato paste, diced tomatoes, onions, green pepper, garlic, white cooking wine, whatever you want to use, just as long as it tastes good, because to me if it don't taste good, it may not be good in your dish. And then I have Easy OO, this is an Italian uh, virgin olive oil. And then what is gonna set this dish apart from any stewed chicken that you've ever eaten is the Philadelphia cooking cream, Italian cheese herb, blend. So let's get started on making this dish. It's going to be terrific and I'm ready to eat it so let's go for it. The first process that we do to get our chicken started is I've taken the seasoned salt, I've put in the cinnamon and the pepper and I'm going to season my chicken on both sides because you eat both sides and then we're going to actually go over to the frying pan and put some easy OO in there and then we're going to go ahead and fry it off on both sides. I'm going to do three minutes on each side, but I'll come back and show you everything that I'll be doing. So for now, I'm just going to season all the chicken. So that's all you do is just spread it on the chicken liberally. Okay, I have my skillet on, and now I'm ready to put some olive oil in there so that I can fry the chicken on each side, just to get it a little brown, but not really to cook it thoroughly, because once we put it in the, the stewing sauce, which would be the wonderful Philadelphia cream, cooking cream, Italian and herb, and the tomato and tomato paste, and all the other good things we're gonna put in there, it's going to uh, finish cooking, because it cooks for like an hour. So, just put it in, skin side down, and we're gonna let this cook, three minutes on each side and you don't want to overcrowd your pan you want to make sure you have plenty of space in there and uh, if you're using a stainless steel skillet it, like I'm doing it will stick but once it's cooked it will release on its own so it's going to be perfect this cooking cream I'm telling you by Philadelphia cream cheese is one of the most perfect things that they could have ever created these chefs boy they had me in mind they created these sauces just for me so I don't have to do a whole lot of extra work. They're so versatile. You can use them many different ways in many different dishes. And you guys are going to love it. If you haven't purchased them yet, go purchase them. Try them. They're awesome. So here we go. We're cooking the chicken. And let me see if they're ready yet. They're not ready yet. So I'm going to go ahead and finish frying these off. Three minutes on each side. I'm going to do it in a couple of batches. And then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next. I just finished taking out the last piece of my chicken. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of the little remnants at the bottom, but that's great. So don't don't think that that's bad. That's actually going to add to the flavor. I'm next going to add in the onion, the chopped onion. I took the onion and I diced it up, and I'm going to put that in there and saute that up. Let that cook a little while. Then I'm going to add the garlic to it, the recipe, and I'm going to sprinkle this with a little bit of salt and pepper. So, let me add a little salt and a little pepper. And you kind of want to season as your layers go along because, you know, you eat everything. So, why not season it all while you're cooking? So, that's the next thing that I'm going to be cooking. Let me get a cooking spoon here. So. Here we go. This is a totally awesome dish. I can't wait for you all to try it at home. And using these terrific sauces and creams that Philadelphia has come up with is, is just excellent. And it does, it cuts a lot out of your time 
when it comes to preparing sauces or it can enhance the sauce that you already use, which is what I'm doing here with this sauce, with this stewing sauce, it's going to enhance it and it's going to actually kick it up a notch or two for me. So it's really, really great. I've already tried it out on my family, so I know, you know, my mom even gave me thumbs up on this on this recipe because she was like, wow, this is a different way of doing a traditional, our traditional stew, uh, stew chicken recipe. So this is just really awesome. Um, this one got a nice little color on it. I'm going to add in the green pepper and the garlic. So let me add that to the pan. Saute this a little bit. Then I'm going to deglaze it uh, with the wine. And then I'm going to add the water. And then I'm going to add the tomatoes and the tomato paste. And then we'll add the chicken back in. And then it'll cook for about, oh, I want to say about 50 minutes to an hour until the chicken is very, very tender and falls off the bone and it's done. This has got to be the easiest one pot meal ever. So it in goes the garlic. So this is going to be awesome. Okay, I've sauteed the vegetables. The, the onions and, and the green pepper are now pretty translucent. I'm going to loosen up all of the, the little remnants that are at the bottom and let this reduce a little bit. So here goes the cooking wine that I'm putting in. And this is going to uh, really, really, really help with the seasoning and loosening up all the different spices and things that stuck to the bottom of the pan. So this is going to be great. So I'm going to let this cook for a little while. Okay, I've added in the tomatoes and a tomato paste. And I'm just bringing this together. Okay, the final part to this recipe is adding in the Philadelphia cooking cream, the Italian herb, cheese and herb. And this is actually what's going to kick it up a whole notch. Um, it's going to make this dish creamier and even more savory than what it is used to be alone. So this is an awesome thing that I have added to this recipe. Um, and it is great. So I'm going to put the full container, the full 10 ounces is going into this mixture. Here it goes. Okay, the next and the last thing I'm going to do to this dish is add back in the chicken. So I'm just nestling it back into this wonderful cream sauce that's uh, going to go over, either you can put this over pasta or you can put it over rice. Uh, I'm actually going to put this over some rice because um, it's really great over rice. Or you can also do like an orzo type of a noodle as well. So. This is just a very great dish and it's awesome. Your family is going to love it. So in all of this goes, I'm turning the temperature down to a like a low so it can simmer. And I'm going to cover it and it's going to be great. So here we go. Okay, I've finished the great stewed chicken. Um, and as you can see, it's very thick. I'm going to actually put it on this bed of rice so that you can see a little bit better. So I just spoon it over there on top. And this is served family style. because It's such a nice hearty dish. Right. Okay, you guys, it was easy, I know, like I said. This is the finishing dish. This is a great, awesome, creamy stewed chicken. And it's made with the Philadelphia cooking cream, Italian cheese. Most herb. of all, I want to thank Kraft Foods Philadelphia for creating this wonderful cooking cream just for me to create my wonderful dishes. And again, you guys go out and make this. It's an awesome dish and best eats. I love it. Thanks. Bye.